Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part 1 of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Hypothesis Testing 1. Regressor In the previous slide, we have learned the basics of regression analysis of two variables. We have determined the coefficients of the linear equation showing the linear relationship between the variables. In this session, we will learn to test if the coefficients are significantly different from the hypothesized value under the given level of confidence. Later, we will learn testing of parameters in a multiple regression analysis. Agenda. We will begin our session from the confidence interval for the coefficients of the linear regression model. These confidence intervals will be based on the given level of confidence. We will use these confidence intervals to test if the hypothesized value is significantly different from the actual value. We will use the t-test to test the significance. We will then learn about heteroscedasticity, which is one of the violations of the assumptions in a regression analysis where the variance of the error terms is not constant. We will end the session by learning about the Gauss-Markov theorem which lists the properties of the ordinary least squares estimators when the assumptions of the regression model are true. Confidence intervals From what we learned in the previous sessions, we know that any confidence interval can be obtained by adding or subtracting the product of the reliability factor and the standard error with the point estimate. The reliability factor is usually the critical Z or T values for the given confidence probability. Let us find the confidence interval for the regression coefficient, B1. In this case, the point estimate of the coefficient, B1, is added to the product of the critical T value and the standard error of regression coefficient to get the upper limit of the interval. If it is a two-tailed test, then we also need to subtract this from the point estimate to get the lower limit. In this case, the reliability factor, or critical T value, is the value for a two-tailed test. In both cases, the T value is for n minus 2 degrees of freedom, because we have estimated two values in the calculation of B1. Similarly, we have the confidence interval for the forecasted value of the dependence